Oh, I will show you the first game that I have made, which is uh, one big project of this uh, real-time strategy. Uh, this project has been abandoned because this uses Java and, uh, and is much too slow on most computers. At, the, at first, you can see you have uh, enemies who are attacking from the north, or that side, and then enemy from there. You have to quickly build some soldiers and uh, to repel these attacks. But the two tanks, however, are pretty powerful. You can smash right through infantry and uh, have quite big cannons. Then after this, you have some dialogues, and afterwards, you get a tank coming from that side. Okay, well that tank destroyed pretty easily, and now you are you have to destroy the city on the other side of the map. And then on you see this city of yours, you can build soldiers. This is automatic rifleman which shoots uh, continuously. This uh, is a regular rifleman which who shoot a little bit further, reloads a little bit slower but are cheaper. Then you have flamethrowers, which are great against the infantry, but unfortunately can cause uh, serious uh, friendly fires, like uh, really on fire. And the grenadiers, uh, these people throw grenades, but they're not that good, uh, like the range is a little bit too, s too short. Well, it has to use it. And here is the tanks that uh, you can see here, which uh, is uh, much more powerful than a single infantry, but it takes a lot more time to build. Okay, here we go. And then there is this is a special unit which is a troop transport. Okay, at first you can see that when you're selecting units, you do not select the troop transport as a different category. And then when you mouse over, you get a different icon. And you can put some infantry inside, and then you can move it to another location pretty fast, and then you can click again to eject any infantry inside. And you can see that tanks cannot go inside, because tanks are too big. For now we will build a few more riflemen, automatic riflemen, and put some people inside the transports, and we will try to attack. But there are a lot, uh, there are a lot of enemies over there. We will not try to defeat them all; just to try to take their cities and win this game. Okay, we got some enemy tanks. We can see that the, these uh, small arms are capable of destroying the tanks, but you get uh, pretty heavy casualties in the process. And the no unit is really invincible, and uh, one tank can destroy another tank in like one shot. Well, that didn't get too far. Let's bring some more that we built in the meantime. And let's build some tanks for a change. Okay, these five people were civilians that are supposed to protect. They don't have a different uh, clothes because these uh, clothes are a bit hard to draw. All these pictures are drawn in Microsoft Paint, like uh, pixel by pixel, literally. And then one thing you can notice that uh, unlike uh, other games like Age of Empires, where you, where you have formation and turn, everything will twist uh, left and right, this one does not. It uh, will try to go. Uh, to the destination formation as fast as possible. Uh, the collision detection is a bit of ruining the thing, but you can see that it does not twist left and right. And if you select some uh, nine people or more, okay, you can see that uh, the thing turns pretty well. Got that. Two tanks and get some grenadiers. 
those grenadiers through grenades that are really parabolic and uh, the algorithm inside will calculate the exact angle of launch to launch the grenades which have the fixed the launch muzzle speed uh, we call muzzle velocity and they would uh, do some quite complicated calculation on where exactly it should be shooting towards to get uh, at the, the target and you can see it uh, shoots pretty accurately but the range is a bit too close not too useful ok let's try another or lot attack on their settlement which is around uh, there ok let's charge them There we see it. And we didn't succeed in destroying it. But they were, we were close. We were pretty close. Uh, let's build some flamethrowers. They are uh, by far the most awesome one. And uh, the flame you see is also draw, drawing Microsoft Paint. Like, uh, I don't know how to use Photoshop. Burn them all. Burn that tank. Not even. Not quite effective against tanks. Uh, forgot. Yeah, he doesn't burn down. Burn down tanks. Let's try to build it. Uh, no, we failed again. I guess we better use something better than uh, these people. But this will do. In fact, they are pretty strong, the submachine guns. Last attack. These red circles uh, are indication of someone that attacked you from uh, so a place you cannot see. There was uh, some crazy red circles because uh, the flame do not distinguish between friendlies and uh, hostiles. So it thought uh, it was being attacked from behind uh, by itself. But this has a lot of friendly fires, uh, even though it's not very apparent. In fact, uh, every bullet is the same type as a person. So theoretically, you can have a person shooting a bullet, and a bullet shooting another bullet, and uh, so on. Uh, there's no thing, uh, no unit to implement at this time. And there will probably never be. Okay, this definitely the last time. If we're gonna win this. Maybe not. Okay, let's build some tanks to finish it off. Pretty damn slow. But they go pretty fast. Uh, one more thing is that uh, you see those tanks things go faster but they have uh, acceleration time like they start slow, go fast and then stop and uh, the, the people o actually also have acceleration times but they are they accelerate and they decelerate very fast so you don't really see that Okay, we destroyed and we win. Well, that's the only level.